bring the golden age back. It going in line with like Tyson coming back and saving them. Like he's the only reason that they get the golden fleece. He is able to get it because the man eating sheep think that he he's giving them food because he's a cyclops. If he wasn't there, I don't, I don't even know how they would have gotten it. It would have been, it would have been really hard if they would have even been able to get it. And so he like saves them because, and the whole reason that works is because Percy is treating him like he's an equal. Um, I wanted to bring that up because a friend of mine sent me like a part of the scene in The Lightning Thief when Luke reveals his whole plan and, and tries to kill Percy, that all of the humans are going to go back to the caves. Mm -hmm. And the only ones that will survive are the ones that are strong enough to like join him. And I'm like, that's eugenics. That's literally eugenics. <laughs> like that's what that's what Luke is saying there. And so that like makes sense for Luke because he has a sword that can kill human beings. Why do you have that? <laughs> Why do you have a sword that can kill human beings? He has that. So he obviously feels like he is better than other people, which is why I'm pretty sure that those humans on his ship are literally food and that he's just waiting to feed them to the monsters on the ship whenever they're hungry, because he obviously has no like belief of anything at all, like that human beings matter at all. He sees himself as above them, as like better than them. And that if you don't join him, it's because you're like less than and lower and that you need to like go back to living in caves because you're just like not like smart enough or I don't know the right word, but it's such, it's pure eugenics. And if you don't know what eugenics is, is the idea that like disabled or people who are even people of color should not like have babies because you want like a superior gene set. Like you hear rich people like Elon Musk say this, like they literally, like Elon Musk has literally said this, that he wants to have as many kids as possible because he thinks that he's so smart that if he has a bunch of kids, he can like fix the human race by his kids being smart. He's autistic, he's disabled, and he's saying that shit. It doesn't matter if you're disabled. Like Luke probably has ADHD and dyslexia because he's a demigod, but he's still being part of eugenics. And that there's so much eugenicist shit in our society in general, like the whole idea that like during COVID, that if you had like pre-existing conditions, you're just supposed to like suck it up and possibly die if you leave the house. And it's still like that now. That's a very like eugenics, eugenics idea. And so I like these books, having Luke as being the villain of being <laughs> like, I think that I'm better than everyone. I don't care about anybody. And if anyone doesn't agree with me, I think that they're lesser than me and I'm, and I'm above them and that I'm just gonna wipe them out and restart society with like the good people, because I think anyone who agrees with me is like the, the good smart people versus somebody like Percy that has guilt about killing a monster that is trying to kill him and his friend. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, that's, I like that juxtaposition between those two ways of thinking very much. So thank, thank you for doing that. Because when you have characters in a book like this, that is that they're all disabled, especially a character like Tyson that ends up saving everybody multiple times in this one book alone. Mm -hmm. I feel like you kind of have to make that point because there's so many eugenics shit that you run into when you're when you're disabled. Like, I'm pretty sure that the reason why I haven't been able to find a job is because I'm disabled. Yeah, and it would, and it's hard. Like, I I told you about like a family member of mine, extended family member of mine was like, well, why don't you just get a job at like Target or something? Like acting like it was a really easy thing. And it was like, those jobs aren't even around anyway. But even if they were around, I don't think that I could actually do that job yeah. without like going to the bathroom many times a day to like cry <laughs> because of being like overstimulated and scared about having to talk to people, like both disabilities, like on top of each other. And so it's, it's hard to like kind of try to get through the world when you are disabled, when people are just telling you basically stop being like that. Mm -hmm. And so... One of the things I've always liked about this series is that everyone is disabled and that you're not, and that you're looked down on if you think, if you talk badly to them because they are.
Yeah. And I love that Percy doesn't let anybody else do it to Tyson for him. Like mm -hmm. Percy treats him like an equal and it sets the tone for everybody. And if anybody messes with that, he is the big brother ready to stand up for his little brother.